Hi everyone, this is a little quick run through on Portfolio and how to access it because um, I realize this is something you folks have never done before. Um, and um, I've logged into a dummy student account here to show you what things look like as a student. So when you go into Moodle and there's this section that says assessment, um, you can go to the portfolio and it'll bring up this screen. And um, well, eventually it'll bring up this screen. Okay, and it'll um, have a description of the task here, and down the bottom here, it'll have a button that says submit assignment. Um, it says resubmit for me because I've been monkeying around with it. Um, now, this is an interface for actually submitting a, an assignment via Portfolium. What you really need to do is get in and edit your Portfolium account. So you can do it by clicking and working within this tiny window in um, within Moodle. But what I would do is I'd just go to the portfolio link, open it in a new tab, and voila, there will be your portfolio, um, your portfolio account. And um, it'll open to your feed, which is not necessarily all that useful for you at the moment. So if you click on to your account here, it'll take you to your portfolio. As you see, I've created a fictional one with a fake name. Okay, so how do you actually add all your bits and pieces to this? Well, the way you add things in portfolio is in several ways. You can add specific stuff here, and most of that is good for you to do, but you don't need to do for this assignment. In terms of your ethos statement, you can add an introduction, and that'll let you write an introduction that'll go up the top there. Um, and you can do it that way. But the main way you add things in Portfolio is through projects. So if I go onto this Portfolio link here, it'll show you the existing projects that I've defined for this one. I say defined, I've just put together some really rough things and I've put in an experience of working as a shift manager and the experience of working at Caxton Legal Center. So to add more uh, evidence to your portfolio, and this is sort of backwards to the way we used to do things. You used to start with what your skills were and then add the evidence. Here you figure out, and this is why I'm asking you to sort of do a mock-up first in Word, um, because all your, your list of skills go down this side and they link into what are called projects in portfolio. In portfolio. So if you're coming up with a new experience, um, you can say, okay, new project. And you can say, I participated in the client interviewing contest 2000 oh there's not enough room okay so i say participate in client interviewing context context and i can say and i can put more information in here um student society contest 2020 like you would write this properly I'm not going to do that right now and, and actually what you probably do is cut and paste from another document that you've done it in because I suspect there's not very good spelling and grammar checking going on here you can add categories so let's say content contest um, student uh, interviewing Let's have a look at the categories. Find something. Education. Okay, there you go. Education. Um, and where it becomes more important uh, is where you add your skills in here, and you can add them. There's some suggestions in there, but you can add them in. So, client interviewing. And see, it's ticked here. Um, uh, student leadership. And you can just Create these as you go for anything that you want to add in. Teamwork suggested. Yeah, that's probably one as well. You can add other people in there and you can add tags, but let's not worry about that side. Let's just go publish. Don't want to add teammates. Am I ready to publish? Yes, I'm ready to publish. So that's going to go onto my portfolio account. Now, I haven't added any attachments there. Now, if you have attachments, this is, this is a good place to add them. 
Um, now, I'm anticipating that most of you at this point in your learning career are not going to have a whole lot of evidence, although you will have your um, um, iChange certificate, which you can add directly here. You can add in your iChange certificate. Um, but the whole point of this exercise is for you to figure out what sort of evidence you're going to need to collect over the next uh, three to six years of your studies. So for a lot of things, you're just going to put a description and much better than the description I put there, but you will put a description so that if someone said to you, um, did you have any evidence of teamwork? You'd be able to point them to your portfolio where you've described what the contest is. You might put a link to the external link to the contest. Um, if you had a photo of you, if you won and you had a photo of you with a trophy or something, you could add those sort of things. But quite often what you'll be doing is just putting a bit of a description in there and saying what it's about. Um, as I've said before, this is not meant to be tricky or, or anything else. This is just to get you started so you've got that basic template there. So when we come back here, we will see that there's now three things in the portfolio. Um, the shift manager, the leadership, volunteering, the volunteering, and um, the client interviewing contest. You'll also see that um, these are coming up as skills on your skills list and if you click on the skills list a viewer can see each of the projects that are appropriate for your skills. So to add your video in um, you can add that as a project. So you add your project title ethos video let's go for education again it's the easy one insert link into a description this is my video and my link is http blah 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 not a real link all right if i publish that publish the project i will then have i should have a link in there anyway not add the link. All right. This is my video. Maybe maybe it was smart and figured out that I had um, that I'd made one up. Oh, now it's inserted there properly. Okay, I'll save the changes. And we come back and in my list projects it'll have my ethos video and if I click on that it should have a link to where I said there was a link yep there we go we'll close that now in terms of where you put the only other thing that you really need to do here um, once you've uploaded your um, iChange certificate as well and you've got enough of these pieces of evidence that you've got a set of skills over here that's fine um, Sorry, wrong click there. We go into your your video. Um, if you want to put your ethos in, you can put your ethos, your written ethos statement there. Save changes, and you can add your ethos video as a project. So this will come up as a block that says introduction, and your ethos video link will appear under there. So there's various other bits and pieces there, but you can just sort of add things as you go. Don't worry too much about this bit that says Laws 11057 down here. You can add specific projects to there if you like, but you're not required to. All right. So when you've finished, this should upload as, upload as you go. Um, you can exit that window and you go back to your portfolio. Um, and when you are ready to go, you can hit submit assignment and it says assignment submitted it also says down the bottom here unsubmit assignment which means that you're not um, bound to what you've submitted you can unsubmit it and resubmit it all this submit button thing here does is sends a notification to me in Moodle that says that that person's ready to have their assignment marked um, <clears throat> when 
the uh, due date of the assignment comes up, I'll be able, I mean, I can look at everyone's portfolios anyway. And once the due date of the portfolio comes up, um, even if you haven't, if you've forgotten to submit it, it's okay um, because I should be able to have a look at what you've put there anyway. So in the section where it says, um, I think at the beginning it says start assignment and there's an ability to um, add files and all sorts of things at the very beginning, that's confused people. And that's because your portfolio has a system where you can actually submit normal assignments inside portfolio. So don't worry about any of that stuff. Um, just start your assignment and then go right click on portfolio and go straight into your portfolio and start adding to it there and then I can have a look at what you've added there. So sorry that's a little bit confusing um, and that's because portfolio is a new system and, the, and um, we haven't used it before. Um, but as I said don't worry about that just get into the, the portfolio system, edit your uh, uh, portfolio till you've added those things that are required and um, and hit submit when you're ready when you're happy with it and you're ready for it to go and uh, yeah the other thing that I would add is a couple of people have been stressing about their lack of uh, any kind of physical ex attachable uh, evidence in which case look part of this exercise is to have a bit of an audit of what you have available and to have a think about what you need to do before you start applying for jobs. So I don't care for this particular assignment task. If you've got your, your skills, your capabilities, and you've got linked to evidence, which is a description of what you did, that is perfectly fine because this is a very simple, low-key um, assignment task. But for your own purposes, remember that when you go for jobs, people are going to want to know uh, we're going to, be, going to want to be able to see the best possible evidence you have and it's certainly a lot more impressive than someone saying hey I won the debating contest for someone who's actually got a certificate um, has got you know a link to a newspaper article about them winning the debating contest and a photo of them holding the trophy that's much much better evidence when it comes to a portfolio so not required for the assessment task but something that you need to think about um, over the next few years as you do things, as you do assignments, as you participate in extracurriculars, think about, well, how can I document this? And how is there a way I can include this in my portfolio?